The old man has appeared new wounds every day and the hidden camera has discovered the scary truth. I don't think any of us would like to find ourselves in old age unable to cope with even the simplest of tasks. Surrounding yourself with family and friends can be extremely important in keeping your wilts alive in these circumstances. But unfortunately, some older people are forced into care homes where they may not feel comfortable being looked after by strangers. But nothing can be worse than one such stranger behaving in a completely horrific way, allowing himself to insult and be cruel to the elderly life circumstances. There comes a time when parents become ill and disabled and need constant care and supervision. If they live alone, you can try to take them to live with you. But if conditions do not allow or they do not agree, that means you have to visit them almost every day. But the children themselves may have their own family, work, children and so on. How do you deal with this? A solution has long existed in the developed world residential care facilities for the elderly where older people requiring constant care are provided with the necessary services. For example, George Cutham, 89, suffering from Alzheimer's disease, moved to a nursing home in Ottawa, Canada, when his condition became so critical that he needed help with everything from eating to dressing. His family carefully selected a nursing home that seemed to have a good reputation. But after a while, the grandchildren began to notice that something was wrong with their grandfather. The thing is that George started showing bruises and wounds on his body. One of the children, Daniel, became concerned about the injuries, but the staff always told him that the old man just fell out of bed. The guy was very skeptical and decided to install a hidden video camera in Georgie's room. By the way, it was no secret to the nursing home's management. After the guy expressed his desire, the director of the facility even gave an interview to a local TV channel in an effort to assure other families that the primary principle of the facility is safety and well-being of all patients. But when Daniel did watch the video, he was completely enraged and it was understandable. So what really happened? You'll find out in a moment. Shocking truth. The video really is shocking. Video shows an elderly man lying in a hospital bed while one of the caretakers at a nursing home named Ji Xiao yanks him back and forth while removing the old man's nappy. The fact is that Guttam suffers not only from Alzheimer's, but also Parkinson's and needs a full-time caregiver. The worried old man retaliates by taking a couple of awkward swings with his mangled shaky hand at his abuser during an API change. It's as if he wanted to defend himself like a little kid who doesn't know any other way. This reaction could be explained, for example, by the fact that Zio has repeatedly behaved aggressively to George on several occasions. And indeed, it was the video showed Daniel that a 44-year-old nurse angrily strikes his grandfather's body and face with his hands 11 times, while at the same time with the other hand, he holds the old man's hands down so that the old man doesn't twitch. The video also clearly showed the sound of Xiao's fist hitting Gudum's face. Not only that, He's also scolding the infirm man and shouting at him with foul language and intimidates him. Then the nurse briefly leaves the room and returns. A few minutes later, he stands beside the bed again, pointing to Karam's hand in his face before making a gesture as if the old man should try to punch. But in response, Xiao clenches his fist again and indicates that he is about to hit Gutta. What was that, you may ask? Apparently, the nurse was amused by this immoral behavior, and it seems to me that he was just provoking the old man to cover up his atrocities with his illness and inadequacy. Maybe he just likes to make fun of helpless people who can't do anything in return or even talk about what happened. Otherwise, it is unclear how to explain what we see in the video next Chout holds the blanket off George, then throws it back on, covers his eyelids with his fingers, and strokes the old man's head. Finally, he puts his finger to his mouth to show that the incident must not be told to anyone. Evidence of guilt Daniel Natala, who works as a lawyer in Ottawa, said after watching the video that he could not believe what he saw. I literally stood up and fell down, my legs buckled, because I didn't know how to react at all, he admitted in an interview. Daniel also said that after watching the video, he first called his uncle the decision maker and then his brothers. Then he drove his car to the nursing home, hoping to arrive before the work shift ended. On his way, Daniel called 911. When he arrived, the police were already on the floor of his grandfather's bed. Daniel and his two brothers headed towards the lift. At that moment, one of them noticed Chow leaving through the front door. 
The guy then approached him and asked him to come upstairs with them, so he did. Daniel then showed the police the recorded video. That same evening, Kaya was arrested, handcuffed and taken to the police station. The nursing staff member himself pleaded guilty to assaulting and abusing the elderly ward. George Cutum was immediately taken to hospital for a thorough examination. He was given a computerized tomography scan, which revealed no serious injuries. Eventually, the elderly man was returned to the nursing home. The staff made a formal apology for the incident and said they would not tolerate any form of abuse further proceedings. The head of the city's Department of Community and Social Services Bureau, who supervises homes for the elderly, described this case as very alarming. In a letter to the mayor and members of the city council, she outlined the details of the incident and the ongoing investigations. I deeply regret that one of our residents was the victim of such an incident, she wrote. This employee's actions are completely contrary to our mission and our commitment to the health and well-being of our residents. Long-term care will not tolerate any form of abuse of residents. It is impossible to justify even a momentary breach of high standards by people we entrusted with the care of those who call our facility home. After being accused, the nurse was immediately suspended and eventually fired. A series of troubling incidents, according to Daniel, is not the first troubling incident with guns in a nursing home. The man's grandson said they had made complaints to the Ottawa police, as well as the Ministry of Health and the Long-Term Care Organization. Daniel explained that his family had seen bruises on his grandfather's body several times before, but the nursing home claimed there were marks from a fall from the bed. Moreover, according to Daniel, even before Xiao's attack, he had failed to properly support Gun when he was putting him to bed to prevent bed sores from worsening. The guy also pointed out that the family had decided to install a security camera after their grandfather had received a cut on his neck. They later discovered that Xiao had tried to shave him with a straight razor and cut the cut him on purpose, even though the family had provided an electric razor for this. We suspected that something was wrong, Daniel said. Over the past six or seven months, there had been several incidents at the nursing home that had no explanation. Grandfather had been suffering from cuts and bruises, and there was a wound on his forehead. We never had a proper response from the management about all these injuries. We were completely unhappy with this arrangement. According to Daniel, they installed the camera both to monitor their grandfather's care and as a deterrent. The management of the institution knew exactly about the camera and, in fact, even approved its installation. Blatant injustice Daniel said in an interview that his grandfather fled to Canada after the bloody civil war in Lebanon in the early 80s. He served in the army there and later became a staff sergeant. Now he's a widower. His wife died in 1993. My grandfather was tough as nails, said Daniel. Now he is just scared and asks me to protect him. He could barely speak to me. I beg you, please don't leave me. Please protect me. Something is wrong, he said. Despite the terrible experiences that George Cutum has had to go through, his family decided to let him stay at the nursing home after Xiao was fired. Moving to a new environment would have been too stressful for him. Now the elderly man's family is working hard to make changes to the long-term system in the community. The system is broken and needs to be changed, Daniel says. I'd like to think what happens to other families who don't have the same resource and opportunities as our family, Daniel says, with another patient who has no voice or oversight. Such a healthcare worker is left alone, and now I want to help such lonely people. That is what drives me in this business. I want to make changes and I won't stop until we achieve them," he added in an interview with reporters. That's all for today. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so you don't miss any of our app. Thanks for listening and talk to you soon.